Hello and welcome back to the Escape Pod. Thank you for escaping with us. That's Alex. I'm Andrew. And as always, with great power comes great X Men '97 ability. I'm sick of this. I can't do it. I'm sick of this. I can't do Why it. Why do you have it? Drink from it. I can't. I can't put do this liquid right in now. it. I don't think I've washed it. Well, clearly. I clink, I take a sip. Classic, you know. You know, I can make some noises if I want to. You're the guy that gets really, really upset when I chew on camera. This is actually How a great is point. that any different from... This is a great point. Big old gulp right here. Right here. One of them is used for comedic timing, and the other is just absolutely disgusting for three minutes straight. <laughs> so there's the difference. I don't think I don't think you know how comedic timing works. You see, comedy, there's a rule of three. You need to do it another time for it to be funny. Okay. I'm just letting you know that yeah, yeah. that's how real comedy works. They haven't laughed yet, but the third time, they're going to they're gonna th- lose They're going to have to pause the video. They're going to lose it. And that would be funny if you just did it. In you just don't want to use your mug at all, ever? Why do I, you have it? I used to, but like, yeah, I don't really anymore. No. I, I have it for the it's our shtick. Well, it's not really our shtick. It's white and it's temporary. Yeah, no, I know. A temporary mug as we wait for the new one. We are still waiting. No news from China about getting that new mug. It's brutal. China, man. The next time we, yeah. <laughs> China. China, man. China. Okay, um... I was, I was, it was going to be X-Men 97 ability, and it was going to be a beautiful transition. But yeah, I totally have to. completely derailed the You episode. want to go again? So do you want to start, Shall That's I? Alex. I'm Andrew. And as always, with great power comes great X-Men 97 ability, because that's what we're talking about. The brand new X-Men show from Disney+. Plus. All three of the first three episodes are out. Yep. We have obviously seen them. We know your love and everything. It's still got 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. We watched the third one in the Discord. With everyone mm-hmm. uh, on Wednesday. Yes. Or we are going to do that. Yes. Ma- magic. Magic. Hopefully it worked or it did work. Is episode three your favorite of the season so far? Probably. Me too. Right? I can't believe they did Madeline Pryor. They did the Goblin King. They're jumping into Mr. Sinister. I love it. Just get a all comic booky and weird. She's a clone and she's a clone. and You didn't want to spoiler alert that at all? It's the third episode. But that's a big spoiler. That's a big thing that happens. It doesn't like happen like it happens like ten minutes into the episode. I mean, yeah, but maybe someone hasn't seen it yet. I'm sorry if I've spoiled everything for it's, you. Yeah, it's one episode. We still got the rest of the season. Also, like, this is Monday. It came out Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Take a sip. No. Um, no, it was really good. And we talked about this on the Patreon. A little bit so, more, So yeah. anyways, we have X-Men 97 merch. Yes. Um, a, a lot of y'all have already ordered that, and it's, it's going to come to y'all at the end of the show mm-hmm. at the, when X-Men 97 is done. Mm-hmm. It's limited edition. We're never going to make these again. Mm-hmm. So shout out to everyone who's already ordered. If you'd like to get some, it is international shipping. We have all the sizes, and uh, we are watching every single X-Men 97 episode with you guys Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Pacific. Yes. So join the Discord. And everything for that. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, uh, we talked about on the Patreon already. Yes. Uh, episode three. Yes. Um, on Friday. Yes. But you made a comment about the joke. Yes. Do you want to talk about the joke? Why not? Yeah, sure. Go. Well, you it's your thing. Well, I, I just think it's the best joke the MCU has made in, in forever yeah. when Morph is just... <laughs> they're getting a lot of work in. There's a lot of cardio. Just, oh yeah. my gosh. I mean, like... Sex jokes are few and far between in the MCU. Yeah. There aren't many. Like, there's the one in Guardians um, where he's like, uh, you know, if you took a black light to this place, it would look like a Jackson Pollock Black-like painting. painting. Yep. Like, there aren't very many sex jokes in the MCU like that. Dude. And it just kept going. And, and they, <laughs> sh- like, press it. We were in the theater watching it, and I was with friends, and we were like, like they, they were like looking at me like, is this still going? Like, it was this is hilarious. So, oh, it was incredible. For that reason alone, it's probably my favorite MCU joke yeah. of all time. Ooh, it's so good. It is really good. But this, uh, people were coming at you for saying this was MCU. Yes. Okay. It's technically not a part of the MCU Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's not in the same continuity. Iron Man doesn't exist in this universe. These X Men will not exist in the. Thanos Marvel Cinematic Universe, but it's part of the Marvel Studios 
Everybody that makes the MCU made this. This is a Kevin Feige production. All the same producers. All the same like a team. It's under the same thing. If this isn't considered MCU, then neither is what if. Is how I feel. Um. Okay. I think what if's a little more connected. Why? Because it's Chadwick Boseman playing Black Panther? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like that's one of the reasons. And like that's still a part like you could just say that the X-Men universe is a, is a multiverse, I guess. Is exactly. But like nothing else connects it whatsoever. Nothing. Yes, but that doesn't matter. Like it it, it it's made by the same people and it's a multiverse thing. Just because the the in yeah, the but in the Marvel Zombies episode, you still have characters that that are directly from the live action. You have Tom Holland Spider-Man. You have Scarlet Witch. You have Vision. You have well, Tom Holland ha- Spider-Man Happy. isn't played by Tom Holland. Yeah, but some of them are. Like yes. Happy is played by Paul Rudd. Like, Paul Rudd is 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 I think that's way Batman. more a part of that conglomerate than this thing. Especially because the original of this came out before. Yes. So do you think you? So are you one of the people that's like Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire is MCU? Mm. By that logic, you have to be. Mm. No, you're cooking. You're cooking. You may have got me there. Because <laughs> I don't, I don't like saying that. I'm not that dude. When when that was a trend and like people were like, time to update my MCU collection, and they would just add the Tobey Maguire <laughs> DVDs to it, I'd be like, mm, yeah, it's, that's a little different. I don't know. I disagree. So maybe not. But it is by, made by the same Yeah, people. but I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, so sorry for calling it MCU. It's I, really good. It is really good. Go watch it if you haven't. I'm so excited and for... I, everybody episode. asks me, do you need to see the original X-Men 97 show in order to enjoy this new Disney Plus X-Men 97 show? I don't think so. No, it obviously you helps. you haven't. No, you I've, have, you have, you have. Yeah, I have, but like, I do, like the thing that happened at the end of the original... Yeah. That is a big part of this new one. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. Because, like, I haven't seen every single episode and remember yeah. every single episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do remember watching it a bit growing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that made me feel like rogue. I'm like, ah, this. And, and the, the love triangle with freaking Cyclops and Wolverine and mm-hmm. Gene. Mm-hmm. I remember that as a kid. Gene! Yeah. He used to scream Gene every episode, <laughs> dude. It was incredible. What do you think about his superhero landing, Cyclops's? It's incredible. In the first episode. It's incredible. You know, everybody loves the the warehouse scene in the first episode where he's saving Sunspot and uh, he's doing it and he's using it to glide around the room. Sick. Which was obviously awesome, but doing seeing Cyclops to a superhero landing with his eyes was incredible. It was the best Cyclops moment we maybe ever will get. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was incredible. It immediately followed by, was- to me, my X-Men. Oh. oh my gosh. I was I was waiting for someone to like catch him. You know, and fly him down, and I was, and he was just like, <laughs> just no, start diving. I was uh, like, wait a minute. <laughs> I knew as soon as everybody was getting picked up, yeah, and he wasn't. He was like, "Good work, team." I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is gonna be the coolest thing ever." I was like, "Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh." And then my favorite moment, even though episode one isn't my favorite episode, my favorite moment from the whole show is storm. Give him the forecast. Oh, uh, you know, Omega level threat. Dude, when they all are like, stop fighting and they're like, Omega level threat detected. And it was like, <laughs> we're all like, <laughs> immediately followed by lightning striking the sand, turning dude, it into glass, glass, dude. Stepping on the glass. I mean, it was electric. We were, we were like, yeah, we were like, like Joe Rogan. The Joe Rogan and MVP, we were like, ah! yeah, everyone in the theater was like, freaking out. It was fun. It was, yeah, it was incredible. I described, I did it like, want to spoil too much. I wasn't going to spoil anything with our roommates, but our roommate Zach is a big Storm fan. And I was telling him, I was like, she gets a time to shine. And he was like, give me specifics, give me specifics. And I just told him her intro to one of the battle scenes is striking lightning at sand and it turned into glass and her stepping on the glass. And he was like, oh my gosh, that's going to be the best thing in the world. And I was worried I oversold it to him. And like when it happened, he was like, you undersold it. Yeah, like, no, no. It's I, so cool. I talked to him about it after too. He was like, I love that. Yeah, so uh, X-Men 97, I think it's a 10 out of 10 so far. I think it's absolutely fabulous. So go watch it if you're not. Join us for the watch parties in the Discord. Yes, Check please. out the merch. 
We're going to be celebrating this thing as, as long as it goes. I hope it doesn't suck on episode four. Yeah, that's Imagine a very good point. Imagine it sucks for the yeah, rest of the season. Yeah, what if it just falls off a cliff? That'd that be would crazy. suck. But I can't imagine it does because the first three episodes were so good. Right. Maybe the first one or the first two. <coughs> three is kind of tough, though. <coughs> wow. So, that may be the longest high of our lives all due to my low. Uh, my low is not a nerd thing, but uh, uh, Metro Boomin and Future came out with a collaboration album yeah. a week ago. Of course. And uh, uh, I've had a week to listen to it and think about it and let Metro it marinate. Metro Boomin and who? Future. Okay. Which one of them did Black Panther? Neither. Okay. It wasn't Future? Mm-mm. It was it was the weekend. You're thinking of Kendrick Lamar. Ooh. Uh, I it sucks. Is my oh the the album sucks. The album sucks, and mm. it, it it's really upsetting because the last two Metro albums have been fabulous and amazing, and I can't say enough good things about him. And I love Future. He's probably my favorite trap artist of all time. He's one of my favorite male mm. artists of all time. Um, and it's super boring. It's there's. Nothing special to it. Nothing memorable. There's been one song like that that I've gone back to, mostly for the Kendrick Lamar feature. Um, he did Black Panther. Uh, Kendrick Lamar. Yes. And, and it yeah, it, I, I was just drastically disappointed listening all the way through. And I thought, you know, maybe it'll grow on me or something. And it just hasn't. It's just a disappointing album. You think I'd like it? No, not at all. And it outstreamed Ariana Grande's Eternal Sunshine. It's now... Brutal. The biggest opening day or opening weekend or opening week of an album this year. Do you think I'd like the past two Metro albums? There are songs on Heroes and Villains I think you'd like. I don't know if there are any songs on Not All Heroes Wear Capes that you would like. Um, But he did the Spider-Verse album. And you like some of those songs. Yeah. Not the ones that like heavily feature him though, right? Metro is yeah. a producer. He produced everything. Gotcha. Right, so he just made the He beat. didn't sing on anything? Nothing. He nothing. No, no, he does nothing vocally. But the he, he he's that he's the he's a cameo. Yes. Yeah, the yeah, only yeah, yeah, thing yeah. vocally that you've ever heard Metro do is My bad. There was a way to run. Yeah, right, right, yeah. <laughs> like that's it. Yeah. Um So yeah, it's just really disappointing. Metro. Yeah, bang. You know who says Self, that? Love, you know, love himself. Huh? Can, can you tell me who says the Metro? Metro? No. It's a rapper. I don't know if you know him. Future. No. The Weeknd. No. Kendrick. No. Those are the only ones I can think of because you just said Yeah, that was my next guess. <laughs> What's your buffalo? Uh, uh, My buffalo is, I was right about Euphoria. I don't know if I said this on air. I really hope I did. But um, Euphoria is a very, very popular HBO Max show. And personally, not for me, but, you know, I know a lot of people love it. And it's officially as of today, so a week ago, been delayed indefinitely. The actors have been told, focus on other projects. The director of Euphoria, the main guy involved, is also the guy that was mainly involved with The Idol, which is the weekend Lily Rose Depp show that flopped majorly. Everybody was said it was the worst show ever. Um... Uh, and a lot of people are saying that he might be being put in jail because of, not jail jail, but like like director's jail, like okay. Damien Chazelle, like they're not going to fuck with him anymore because he made such a bad project. And that, on top of obviously um, Angus Cloud's tragic passing and, you know, some other factors, I don't think Euphoria, we're ever going to see more Euphoria. I just don't. I think the stars are too big. To wrangle them all into the same room, I think would be... Too much of a hassle. Jacob Elordi is like everybody's celebrity crush. Sydney Sweeney is literally on the top of the world right now. Zendaya has never been bigger. She's got challengers coming out soon. Dune 2 was a huge success. She's dating Tom Holland. Like, as these stars, like, it's going to become harder and harder to get all these people in the same rooms together on top of the controversy with the idol. I, I don't think you Euphoria fans are ever going to be able to see more of that show ever again. And I, I'm sorry to tell you that but I, I've been calling that since the end of the last season I was like I don't think we're going to get another season and my girlfriend Rachel who loves it it's like it ends on a cliffhanger they have to do more to this to that ooh that sucks no I don't I don't think there's ever going to be more of it you ever had a TV show that ended on a big cliffhanger and then never came back I think so but nothing that I'm thinking about right now I got two yeah 
So Samurai Jack did Ooh. for like 10 years. Yeah, and then they, they, they finally came back and did like a six episode thing. And mm-hmm. it was really good. Oh, good. Um, but yeah, that, the, whole, the whole show is like Samurai Jack being sent to the future and trying to get back to the past to like save his family. And like every single episode is basically him trying to figure out a way to do that. And then the show just ends with him never doing it. Ooh, brutal. <laughs> like, but then he finally does it. And then uh, I've talked about the show Santa Clarita Diet. Yes. I'm so mad. Mm, I'm, I'm so sorry. mad. Anytime I ever see a tweet on X or whatever that's like, what show would you bring back? I mean, I'm like, I immediately quote retweet it with like a GIF from yeah. Santa Clarita Diet. She's basically a, a freaking zombie. Okay. Spoiler alert for Santa Clarita Diet, if anyone cares. Yeah. But the, the very last little thing, there's these little like meatball looking creatures that like are part of turning her into a zombie or they come out of her after she's a zombie and they have one and they do weird things and then her husband is completely human and the show ends, the last second of the show is the meatball thing crawling up on his head and going into his ear. (laughs) What is this show about? It's about her trying to live as a zombie and not be evil. Like she has to eat people so they have to like find bad people for her to eat. Oh, interesting. It's crazy. Interesting. It's so It's like Little funny. Shop of Horrors. Yeah. And interesting. like, like <laughs> he'll come home and she's just covered in blood. And he's like, honey, what happened? <laughs> like, stuff like that. And then this little meatball creature escapes and crawls into his ear. It crawled into his ear, bro. And, and now we don't know what happened. Is he a zombie? Is he dead? You've got no closure. Does he have superpowers? No closure. No closure. Unreal. Dude, I was so mad. The 90s Spider-Man cartoon ends on a cliffhanger. <gasps> Bring it back. I think they're going to. <laughs> I think they're going to. I really do. If X-Men 97 continues to be a huge success for them, I think they're going to do more. That would be crazy. And Is the voice actor for Spider-Man still like around? I think so. And you know, you know they tease him in X-Men 97. You know when a Cyclops is like, no, don't take my goggles. And he's like, not. And then he opens his eyes and it blows up the whole warehouse. Yeah. When it blows up the whole warehouse, one of the things that flies out is a piece of the Daily Bugle newspaper. And the first thing, it's like some title about mutants or something. And then it literally says, is Spider-Man a mutant? Interesting. At the top. We will see. We will see. Have you done your buffalo? Yeah, my buffalo was euphoria. Ah, okay. Your turn. My high. Yes. I don't have them written down because we used my phone to film. Sad. Unreal. Sacrifices must be made. It's okay. What was my high? (laughs) Frick! Oh, it was good. Do you want to start from the other side? Do you remember your buffalo? Okay. Oh, my high was just going to be like super sappy and like, oh, oh, community. Sweet. But now it doesn't really, I don't really care anymore. Oh, that's rude. Do you want to change your high off the dome or do you want to just say your life sucks? My high is the community. Very nice. Uh, um, we, we we did a little spiel at the end of the last Patreon episode about how grateful uh-huh. we are. And, and we are very grateful for the, the patrons and everything. But I wanted to extend that to the whole community. Um, just wanted to remind you all that like we're here to entertain and just kind of give you all... A happy little place to escape. That's why we say that at the beginning of every episode. And if you're going through something, you know, my high is the fact that we do have this community and we do have this podcast and and we have all of the social media stuff that we do and I do. And, you know, I think that is just a positive and there are positives in life and God loves you and we love you. And uh, if you're going through something, just turn on the Escape Pod podcast or turn us off if we're annoying you. Yes. You can definitely turn us off. Yes. Someone got real upset with me and said I was a five-year-old during the Amazon Prime debate. Last well. Week. And I responded and I said, he said a five-year-old girl. And I responded. Well. And I said a five-year-old girl with awesome takes. Oh, <laughs> got him. Yeah. If you take this podcast even remotely seriously, like I, like, I don't know what to tell you, dude. Like, I'm just over the top screaming on purpose. Um. So anyways, that's my high. Thank you to you guys for making the community so great. Speaking of funny comments, yeah. I posted on TikTok today um, us talking about the Selena Gomez, Benny Blanco stuff. Yeah. And you said in the clip, you're like, okay, so her boyfriend's ugly, so do I have a chance? And I'm like, yeah, 100% you have a chance. Somebody commented and said, 
I say this with love, Andrew. If you get with Selena Gomez, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> new goal. <laughs> it made me laugh out loud. Like, I, like. Have howling. you seen the new picture of her going around? The nude picture or new, the new? New. I don't know what you're talking about. If it about. was nude, we, we'd have already talked about it. I think so, too. I'm just kidding. Um, there's like a new picture of her and she looks a little different. Mm, I do know what you're talking about. Right. Yeah, Zach showed it to me on the couch yesterday. I still think she looks great. I don't know if it's just me. I yeah. thought she looked totally fine. Well, she's exactly your type. Well, there was a there was a tweet that showed her like five years ago or whatever, and then now, mm-hmm. and like maybe she's a little bigger, like she's got some stuff going on, but like I was like, both of these are hot. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what y'all are talking about. I don't know why you're attacking this woman. Um, okay, my my low mm-hmm. is um, so my low and my buffalo are both kind of lows. My low is my body. Yeah. My body had a week. Yeah, let's hear it. So first off, I'm sick right now. I don't know if y'all can hear it. Yeah. I'm feeling a little bit better right now. Uh-huh. Lots of sniffling and waking up feeling terrible. So, you know, taking the vitamins, diffusing the bull crap, peppermint, essential oils, whatever, trying to get better. In the midst of all that, last week, we're playing a Nerf War. Mm-hmm. And my shoulder is just like clocks out of work Mm -hmm. (laughs) and comes out so in the last and you know i also like scraped myself a bunch and i rolled my Mm -hmm. ankle and people saw me do that and i dislocated my shoulder all playing nerf and then i got sick so my body is just not having it right now um but it is what it is in 2024 we vibe fuck it we ball f it we ball nice um so that and and then my buffalo is uh the reason this one, my hatred bracket, inanimate objects. Oh, you're cooking here. We posted a podcast episode today, earlier today that we are filming this. It came out three in the morning. I was asleep until like 10 or 11 because sick. And I didn't notice, but the last like 40 minutes of the podcast episode, for no discernible reason, I did nothing different. I did nothing wrong. Just decided to glitch. Visual glitch. Can't even see what's going on for the last 40 minutes. So we had to delete it and re-upload it. It's still 4 out of 10, which is crazy because wow. we lost like 3,000 views on the we one did. I had to delete. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, that makes me want to die. Yeah. That was very frustrating. Humans are bad. You know what I mean? But you expect them to be bad. Okay. You know, You're we're cooking. all different. Mm-hmm. You know, we've all got stuff going on. We're all raised differently. Mm-hmm. Some of us had good childhoods. Some mm-hmm. of us not so much. Some of us had dads. Some of us not so much. So we're all different people, you know what I mean? But um, that was crazy. So that I don't, was crazy. I don't, ex- I don't expect everyone to act correctly all the time mm-hmm. because you're not a robot. You know what is mm-hmm. Premiere Pro? Yeah. You know what is mm-hmm. YouTube? Mm-hmm. You know my laptop? Mm-hmm. Those are programmed to just do a thing. So mm-hmm. just do the thing. Mm-hmm. And they just continue. And to I not. don't. No. Hatred. I'm sorry for your buffalo being so low. And I'm sorry that your body is failing you. But that's what happens when you are 69 years old, my dear. Welcome back to the Marvel Strike Force show. I am Marvel Strike Force guy. I will no longer be referred to as hat guy. You're sans the hat. I'm so into this game. I don't even need it. You don't need the hat anymore? No, I'm just Marvel Strike Force guy. So the role playing, the RPG Marvel mobile game has replaced your hat. Correct. How does that work? You'd have to ask Marvel Strike Force. Speaking of Marvel uh, Strike Force, I've got I'm, I'm the trivia guy. You are. Name the character. Captain America. Who's that? Groot. That's very good. What about this one? Yeah, that's Green Goblin. That's very good. Good job. Who's this? <clears throat> you got a guess? Mm-mm. Just take a guess. Mm-mm. Three. Two. I got nothing. Ow! <clears throat> Who was it? It's Elsa Bloodstone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you have her in your game yet? Mm-hmm. Or? No. no. I don't know if they'll like physical violence. You might have to blur that. Mm. I slapped him. Sorry, Marvel Strike Force. I let you down. Yeah, uh, but yeah, Marvel Strike Force. They, they're doing stuff each week. You get new things. Go have fun. Absolutely. You want to play every single day because you get more rewards the more you play. Uh, they really uh, reward the consistency. Yeah, so they're celebrating their six-year anniversary. Mm-hmm. You can get download it, uh, the description, uh, the link in our bio, all that stuff. Our code is Max 
pool, all one word. All one word. And uh, hop in the Discord, hop in the comments, let us know how you're liking it. A lot of y'all are saying that you've checked it out, yes. and it's fun. And you've love, legitimately been playing it. I, I, I'm addicted. I, I would love to play with some of y'all. They, they have the versus battle feature where we could we could play. Potentially, you and I could play. I would destroy I'd you. I'd actually like not even break a sweat beating you. I don't, I don't think that's the case. I'm going to get a bunch of Elsa bloodstones and destroy you. I, I don't think you could possibly get past my Luke Cage taunt play i don't think you could get around it go check out marvel strike force link in the description max pool love y'all what's next we've got a little trivia going on yeah so i lost people are still upset at you by the way as they should be i won fair and square I don't sure know sure about. sure just like the nerf war all right mm. I won that fair and square yeah you want to talk about my sheer dominance on the nerf grounds yeah you were pretty you were killing it you're better than me there's no question in my mind that you're better than me. But if I have somewhere to duck and I've got a pretty clear shot, I'm going to get you in two shots. We need to get more guns. We do. But I was cooking. You were cooking. But my gun stopped working halfway through. All the time. Yeah. Dude, I was so it mad. It was brutal. Inanimate objects. <laughs> you're programmed to shoot up dark bullets. They strike Sorry. again. <clears throat> So we're going to do a little trivia challenge. You obviously lost our last trivia challenge, so you had to face the consequences of watching 10 hours of my favorite television show potentially of all time, Haunting of Hill House. So bad. Um, did you cry last night? No. Wow. Dude, I me, was I, me, me and Haley both were like... Dude, dude, like I've seen this show like four times. Gets me every time. Maybe if I watch it again... Sometimes I cry at things the second or third Oh, time. dude. Oh, dude. But like, yeah, I was just like... We it's, were, you were like... <laughs> and I was like... No spoilers. We're not going to get into <laughs> specifics. We're not going to get into specifics. But, Andrew, the ending of the episode we watched last night. Yes. Is that so much to ask for? There needs to be an ending to that sentence. Like, for her... For everybody to be smiling at her wedding, her mom, her dad, her family, everybody be nice to her, and the person she marrying just be there, is that so much to ask for? No. And that's all she's ever wanted. And she can't even get that. Oh. That's what happens when you live in a haunted house. Oh. People are going to die. Yeah, dude, it just ruined my night. <laughs> It's so sad, dude. It's so darn sad, dude. Oh. Just unreal. You got trivia for me? Yeah, I do. You ready? Yeah. We've let's, got let's, no spoilers here. Let's bang through it. Yeah. Because they're going to have no idea what you're gonna you're talking about because no one's seen this show. That's wrong. It's a very popular <laughs> I'm show. I'm just kidding. I know. A lot of That's actually why I'm wearing this t-shirt because it was one of the houses at Halloween Horror Nights. And I've done the house. This year. Oh, really? Oh, this year? Like the year of this t-shirt. Yeah, no, I did it the year that they had it. Yeah. And I went through it with a friend that I had like just met that night. Mm -hmm. And she was like telling me about the show. I was like, okay. I remember her talking about the bent neck lady. Mm -hmm. And you watch Nell dancing around the house like while Dude, you're going through it. I would have loved that house if I had watched the show. I know. I didn't know the show when I, when I went through the house. And then I watched it and then I watched it on YouTube and I was like, oh, this is amazing. Yeah. The amount of detail it was was un unparalleled. They really are amazing at that stuff. All right, you ready? Yes. Name the siblings in order of age. Oh, frick. From youngest. Or, got, or from youngest to oldest or oldest to youngest. Youngest, we've got Luke and Nelly, the twins. Correct. Then we've got Theo. Correct. Then we've got Shirley. Correct. And then we've got Steve. Correct. Oh, bang! You're one for one. If I, if I pass this, I get a trivia advantage. You get a trivia advantage for our next trivia challenge that will Result in have watching. stakes. Yeah. <laughs> the same stakes, probably. You'll just have to watch something else. <laughs> what does Shirley find in her husband's briefcase? Uh, an individual checking account. Very good. Two and O. Oh. Did I call that? Yes, you're correct. That is what's happening. Who plays adult, adult Nell? No idea. No stress. Victoria Pedretti. That might be the only one you miss on here. Two and one. Why does Theo wear gloves? She's got superpowers. Yes. Can you use the word that they use in the show? 
Sensitive. Correct. She's sensitive. Three and one. Would you like that superpower? I'd love to be able to just touch people. And just... Mm. They're, they had to pause it. it yeah. Everyone just They're paused. Losing They're all losing right their minds. That's the rule. <laughs> It's comedy. It's a rule of three. You see, you're losing it. Oh, God. It's only funny the Dude, third time. Dude, our podcast you do it. is awesome. Give me yeah. some of that. <laughs> so let me ask you something. Yeah. Does something get like exponentially funnier if you do it six times? It's a it's a it's a graph. Uh huh. Yeah. For you, it's normally just like this. Unreal. <laughs> McKenna Grace is a very popular young actress who stars alongside Captain America himself uh, in Gifted and uh, mm-hmm. the recently released Ghostbusters Afterlife with Ant-Man. Mm-hmm. Which of the young siblings does she play in Hill House? Yeah, I looked this up. I thought she was in Stranger Things. Turns out she's just friends with the Stranger Things cast. I should. I know this. Hold on. She plays Theo. Correct. It was a hard question because she's a brunette as Theo, but yeah. she's blonde in real life. In Ghostbusters, she her hair is like really curly, and she's a lot older, so she looks a little different. And she has glasses. <clears throat> That's mechanic race. Mm-hmm. I don't believe you. I, it it is. By the way, real quick, taking a break. Ghostbusters: Frozen Empire just came out, and I give it a seven out of ten. I think it's pretty good. I think people, I, I've heard people are hating on it, and I don't like that. If you don't like the ghost semi love story in there, and it, it, you, that's not getting you, I understand you not liking the whole movie, but I, I laughed a lot. I thought the comedy really hit. There were no times where like the comedy just felt awkward. A lot of movies like that are like really try to be funny, and it just wasn't. I thought the villain was pretty creepy. I liked the, the cold aspect of it. Um, I thought, and Paul Rudd is just awesome all the way through, and I, I did find the ghost stuff interesting i kind of called it you can kind of see it coming i also watched it in a 4dx theater so the the seats were just like throwing me around but um yeah go watch it it's a solid ghostbusters movie it's nothing crazy i'm not giving an eight nine or ten but it's like a, it's like a seven don't don't believe everything you read you can have fun with it it's it's funny i laughed a lot you were correct about mccain grace and i am dumbfounded it's cool right yes she's in the next one a lot like she's a main character in frozen empire yeah gotcha <clears throat> Thank you, Andrew, for your review of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. You're welcome. Mwah. Two weeks later. Are you hmm? Are you I? going to see Godzilla X Kong? Of course. I'm so hype. We will review that next week. Yes. It's already out when this came out. Sorry. Oh, really? Mm, it comes out this weekend. Mm, okay. Easy. Who is the friend of Luke's in rehab? What's her name? Yeah. No. You got it. Megan. You got... No. A- Andrew, just think about it for two seconds. You got it. Joey. Yeah. No. Never. Dang. All right, you got two wrong. <clears throat> What's Luke's imaginary friend's name? Abigail. Good. She's not imaginary, though. She's evil and real and, and a ghost. Mm. <laughs> what does Luke steal from Steven in episode one? What does Luke steal from Steven? Oh, um. There's two options. You can give me either of them. Technically nothing. Technically, you're correct. But what is he stealing? A camera and an iPad. Correct. The show is really good, by the way, guys. Like, I was joking. Like, it's really good. What is the only line we hear the bent neck lady say? No, 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 no. Very good. I had that written down and everything. (laughs) Oh, it's it's really good. Some of the scenes are really, really good. Keep going. How expensive is the first rehab for Luke? Six thousand uh, dollars. How consistently? How consistently? Oh, is it six thousand a month? Correct. Brutal. That's crazy. Yeah. In the Bent Neck Lady episode, Nell confronts Stephen at a Q and A for which of his books. You don't have to give me the title. Just what's it about? The Haunting of... Um, Very famous. Very famous place. Alcatraz. Bang! Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I pulled that out of the bag. And the final question, this is the easiest one here. What superhero 
does Shirley's son want to go as for Halloween? Yeah, Daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was so... Wait, you're on a roll today, you're Mom. You're on a roll today, Mom. <laughs> it's, so, it's like so true. How you feel as like a 12-year-old or whatever the frick. Like, oh my gosh, Mom. Oh, oh it's really so good. good. Yeah, so the way... To anyone who hasn't watched Haunting a Hill House, I'm, I'm five episodes in. Yes. It is very good. And the one thing that keeps popping into my brain, the one thought I have about it is nothing about this show is lazy. There is not a single scene or single script. Like there's, there's nothing that's necessarily like made it my favorite show of all time yet, Mm -hmm. but I'm only halfway through, Mm -hmm. but like every scene, every shot is, is very intentional. And every single time I get through a scene, I'm like, they could have. Like, there was a point to that scene. That scene needed to get this point across. Mm -hmm. And they could have done it in a much lazier way Mm -hmm. with the writing and the way it was shot and the acting and everything. And you still could have gotten the general point from that scene that you needed to get. Mm -hmm. But they make each scene better than it needs to be. I am not going to spoil anything for you, obviously. But, I mean, first of all, your first point that you just said, that there's nothing lazy about the show, really is driven home next episode. There are a total of, I think, less than five cuts in the entire of next episode. The one take shots that they get in this episode is going to blow your fucking mind. I'm so excited. It's going to blow your mind how they do it. Just like on a technical aspect, it's breathtaking, okay? And when you say that every scene has a purpose, you don't even know. Yeah. Like, I'm watching it for the fourth time. Like, that was the fourth time I saw episode one. And they're doing things that it's like, I never noticed that they did that. That's brilliant. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I can already tell that, like, obviously, the way that the show, the story is being told, like, everything is interconnected. And, like, the big thing that we're waiting to see about that night or whatever we haven't seen yet. But, like, the way they're telling the story from all these different perspectives and it's all intertwined. I love stuff like that. So, And, and mm-hmm. obviously, you just witnessed one of the biggest twists of the show. Mm-hmm. Um there are massive twists that are coming. That it's just it's gonna Yeah, I figured it's gonna change the way you look at everything. Like I like there is a line that is said in episode eight or nine, I can't remember which episode, where I was like sitting there and I was like, How can they throw that on you this late in the season? And it make as much sense as it does. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm excited. Cause you're a it's, saw guy, dude. You're gonna love this shit. Oh yeah. <clears throat> it's not Oh yeah. hmm No, it's it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. crazy. It's do you think it's going to be one of my favorite shows? I kind of think so. Because I think you're liking it less at this point in the show than I liked it. But I'm going to like the second half more than you. Yes! Yeah. Yes! I don't know if it can be, like, like, it's, like, when I, like, parts of it are better than Stranger Things, obviously. Mm-hmm. Like, it's more adult mm-hmm. and, like, the, 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 the characters or whatever. Mm-hmm. But, like... It's not as fun. And like some of my some of my favorite shows like I want to have fun with. Mm-hmm. Like Eleven's flipping freaking cars over with mm-hmm. her mind powers. Like that's just fun to me. And mm-hmm. like the eighties and everything. But yeah, no, I, I really appreciate I don't show. think it's gonna be like a top five show of all time. Yeah. For you. Um I, I don't, top fifteen? Yeah, but I think I think it'll probably be in the top ten. I just like I think about everything that you want out of a show other than being like conventionally entertaining. Yeah. And it has all of it. Like like, I, like I'm like i thinking about what you look for in endings. Do they wrap certain things up oh, and this dude, and that? You're getting me horny. Like, like twists <laughs> that pay off and like little things. There are lines in episode one and episode two and episode three that you hear them said and they, you have not registered at all that that could possibly be a thing. And you're going to watch it back and you're going to be like, that's the most, that's the craziest thing in the world that they did that. Cool. I'm excited. There you go. All right. We're doing a new segment. Ooh, exciting. I don't this know what it is. suggested by a couple of patrons, and I really like it. So we'll try it out. If you guys don't fuck with it, though, let us know in <clears throat> the comments. You ready? It is called Fight or Flight. I'm going to be giving you superheroes or villains of nerddom. Really, it's just DC and Marvel right now. I've got five of them, and I'm going to say who they are, and you are going to tell me if they existed in real life, you are in a 1v1. You, Andrew Parker. How much prep time you would need, what the materials you would need to defeat them in a 1v1. I'm not beating anybody. Mm, I disagree. I think that you're beating some of these guys. We're going to start 
with not an easy one. The Human Torch. So I die. You, yeah, yeah, I just would like to... I die. Okay, so you're not going to humor me at all with I, this. I die. You're just going to die to all of these? I die. You're not going to get a hose and put together just sure. some kind of impromptu... Sure. I'll get a hose. I die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. Um, where is he just coming at me? You get to choose the location, and you can have the location for 24 hours. All right, hours I'm in, in SeaWorld. Smart. And I get scuba gear, and I go underwater. Yes. And then I still die. But he, yes. You don't have any better options here, Bubba? You could go to space. Can't chase you in space. No, no, no oxygen in space. You can't fly. All right, I'm going to space. Hmm. I'll fight him on the moon. That's just a 1v1. I'm still losing. Probably. <laughs> I die. <laughs> yeah. All right. Shit. All right, next one. You ready to say you die again? Yep. Martian Manhunter. I die. <laughs> I die. These are people with clear weaknesses, man. You're not going to give All me right, any All right, I get a flamethrower. I die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right, here's a human. Okay. Red Hood. I die. <laughs> I die brutally. Brutally, I brutally die. Brutally, die. Yeah. What mm. am I supposed to do against him? Take away the Lazarus pit? I don't know. I was hoping that you would have a All fun right. alternative. All right. Um, right. I'm going to find... Is this, does the Joker exist? No? Shh, no, no, no. Okay, fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I have unlimited money. Yeah. I'm gonna buy a billion dollars worth of crowbars. <laughs> and I'm gonna PTSD him to death. <laughs> I'm gonna touch on his past trauma. He's going to walk into a warehouse and there's going to be crowbars. Everywhere. <laughs> <clears throat> He's going to lose it. <laughs> He's just going to be like. <laughs> yeah. Thanos, no infinity gauntlet. I die. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to go kill this cricket. Uh, um, yeah, what, what, like, what do you want me to, like, what do you want me to say here? Come up with creative ways to beat these people. All right, Thanos. Okay. Um, like PTSD him to death. That was great. <laughs> More of that. Um, I don't know. He doesn't really have any weaknesses. Other than death. But that's only, that's in the comics. And I can't really. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just going to try to logic him. You could dress up in a cloak and get like a skull mask from Party City. Yeah. And go over there and say, I'm going to fuck you. And then kill him. Yeah, I could. Or ch- tell him to kill himself. It'd really turn me on if you just. Mm. And then he's just like, <laughs> "You're cooking." Um, yeah. Could I maybe like logic with him? Hypothetically. And be like, like show him the science, and maybe he's wrong about the science of the world killing itself. Or could I like get him to double the resources as opposed to killing half the universe? Hypothetically. Because I feel like he's a reasonable, I was going to say reasonable guy. He's a reasonable titan. Is he, though? He's kind of nuts. In Endgame, he's a little cuckoo. But, like, in Infinity War, like, he's at least, like... I cut. love what they did with him in Endgame. <clears throat> How do you feel about what they did with him in Endgame? I like Endgame? it. Yeah. I really wanted them to make him a bad guy. Just a bad dude. Yeah, he's like, I'm literally anything. just going to kill everything. He's like, I'm going to kill everything. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't reason with him. Uh-huh. Last one. Scarlet Witch. You want to know the first thing I thought of? Yeah. Ooh. Nice. I mean, what am I going to do? What are you going to lose? I'm going to freaking... What she's she's clearly into magic. Oh, you're cooking. I was thinking you were going to dress up like Vision. Absolutely not. I'm oh. pulling that deck of cards out. She's not touching me. Oh. Is this your card? Yeah, it is. Kiss you're, me. You're cooking. Um, She's into robots. She's very emotional. Very. Maybe I maybe I show her some like really sad movies. Oh, the notebook. Yeah. She Marley loves, and me. She loves sitcoms. Maybe you could show her like a sad ending to a sitcom. What's like the saddest episodes of sitcoms? I'm sure there are some. I'll There's show her that, that one with uh Will, Will Smith. Smith. 
Oh, you're cooking. Dr. Why Phil. Why don't he want me, man? Yeah. That one. You know Uncle Phil, excuse me. Yeah. Dr. Phil is the bald guy. <laughs> Maybe I'll show her some Dr. Phil. Uh-huh. She'll get real sad about the state of the youth. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think I think she's into magic and she's into um, straight guys. You know, Vision is like very, mm-hmm. Vision's not cursing. Vision's no. not having sex with anybody else. You're right. He could lift me only or hypothetically you could too. You think, do you think I could lift me only? No, you no. can't kill. I could kill. I'll kill all Zutara shippers. You didn't you just say to me like I was go, I said I would kill somebody for a billion dollars and you were appalled. No. Was that the hypothetical? You were really upset. Was it a random person? Yeah. No, I thought it was like like someone you knew like Oh, no, I would kill I would kill everybody in this house for a billion dollars. Yeah, see that's crazy. D- no, it's not. That's crazy. It's not. It's you're generational evil. wealth. Yeah, you're evil. You were so upset. Yeah, that's evil. You were so upset about it. That's evil. I don't know if I'd kill all of you collectively, but I'd kill all of you individually. Nobody's safe. For a billion dollars? That's crazy. I'm not touching you. So you killed somebody random for a billion dollars? Maybe. Probably, maybe not. No, know. see, you're, you're not going to kill anybody. I mean, if they're already about to die. No, like they're, they got two kids. Hmm. How old are the kids? Six and three. Do they have a wife or a partner to look after the kids? Yes, but they're not going to be financially stable. But I can give them the money. You could. Wow. Is he cheating on her? Nope. He's the best dude. That's tough. He goes to church. Ooh, that's double tough. He's a God-fearing man. Oh, well, he's going he's gonna to be hanging out with my boy Jesus then. <laughs> I'm just speeding up the process. And those kids will grow up never knowing their father. Yeah, they knew him for six years. Get over it. Here's a million dollars. Wow. I'm just kidding. No, I probably wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it? No, probably not. You Um, can't lift Mjolnir. That's not a requirement for Mjolnir. No, it's not. No, it's it's not. the reason in the comics why Peter Parker can't lift Mjolnir. Yeah, but the, the hypothetical isn't Peter Parker killing a man for money. If I'm killing someone for a more righteous cause other than wealth mm, you're cooking. stupid so you would kill a terrorist yeah mm. you're not batman or daredevil you would kill the joker if i had to no not if i had to you're in the dark night you're you're on the motorcycle i'm not killing him that's crazy that's crazy well, That's crazy. In, in, in that, He's already killed on screen 12 people. Yeah, well, like... We need to watch The Dark Knight again. I've only seen it one and a half times ever. Crazy. It's so good. Yeah, it's like it's, crazy how good it is. Isn't it? Yeah. It's the best superhero movie of all time, live action. I watched it the week it came out, mm-hmm. and then I watched half of it on a plane. Yeah. That's all I've ever seen. That's crazy. The half that I saw on the plane, I was like, I was like on the plane, like looking at the guy next to me, like, what the frick is this? Yeah, it's so like this good. is cr- like I'm see- I'm watching it on this right it's here, so and I think it's good. good. Um, so yeah, it- that's such a hole in your game. No, I remember it well enough. What do you think are like some of the biggest holes in your game? I'm not good at rebounding. Mm-hmm. Are we talking about basketball? I'm talking about nerd stuff. Oh, um. Everybody's got holes in their game. I've got holes in my game. I've got. I've never seen the boys. You've never seen Lord of the Rings. All I've the never way seen Lord of the Rings. You're not really a comics guy. You haven't read too many comics. Yeah. Um, Michael Jordan didn't have a left. Everybody has holes in their game. You didn't like that. I'm disrespecting your goat. I ju- I just saw a clip of LeBron James. Someone like went like this and like skimmed the top of his head, and for like three minutes he was like, "I would just be so unbelievably embarrassed to call that man my favorite basketball player." I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if you saw Michael Jordan dribbling left, you'd be embarrassed. I saw a whole montage of him doing unbelievable things with his left hand. Mm, you're just mm, trying cherry picking. You're trying is however long. Looks like, look what what are you doing? What am I doing? Cherry picking. No, I'm not. You're you're just Michael trying Jordan to get a rise no out. No of- left. We done with the '90s. Moving on. So you have no answer for Scarlet Witch? Oh, you're going to dress up like a ro- robot? Or what are you doing? No, I'm doing a deck of cards. Deck of cards. Solid. You you think? I think she'd be into me. Your confidence is something to behold. 
Come on. I'm not saying it's not justified. <laughs> but it is something She's to into vision. Yeah. Straight man. Yeah. Paul Philosophical. Bentley. Yeah. Nothing crazy. No. White. Technically. He's also technically green. And red. It's kind of like a violet. And she's into magic. You're cooking. You don't like that I keep touching your feet? Nope. I do the three and a half card trick. Mm Mm-hmm. The three and a half's a good one. Is she, like, is, am I trying to stop her from doing something bad or is she, like, attacking me? She's attacking you. She's going to be attacking me in about 30 minutes. Damn. Differently. Unreal. (laughs) Then I'm going to have to be like, I'm a virgin. And then she'll kill me. (laughs) <laughs> I've got such a good question. Okay. You losing your virginity to save your life? Yes. Okay. You're not dying on that hill. Yeah, You're because... struggling to understand the context. No. Well, you can give me more context if you want, but I think there is a, a moral equivalency that you are binary here that you have to look at. Like, I think it is also moral to save a life. I think my life is worth something and i think it's also worth something to have standards when it comes to sexuality and like i would like to hold on to that but if that means i'm also it's result if i don't hold on to that one time it's resulting or if i do hold on to it one time it's resulting in my death that's also a moral thing that like i could make the decision for if that makes sense would you like to give me more context who am i having to have sex with whoever you choose oh good Me. No. You have to have sex with me? Dude, I'll I'll kill myself. Wow. I'll do it for them. Wow. Can I choose your mother? Of course. <clears throat> Shut up, Beth. She should come on the pod. We should have her on the pod. <clears throat> We've had your mother on the pod. You want to do the bracket? Yeah. <sighs> All right. You still taking Magneto over... You still taking the clone army and the Jedi Order over Magneto? Yes. Are you not? What's changed? I put a poll on YouTube and it was just the clone army versus Magneto. And like 80% chose Magneto. Just the clone army is different. Yeah, I agree. And Craig like lost his mind in the Discord. For a bit. And he made some good points. I just feel like... Uh, we don't have to get into it. Okay, ready? This is a bracket of things that Alex hates or dislikes. That's uh, we did mine the other week, mm-hmm. Inanimate Objects 1. It was Zutara Shippers and Inanimate Objects. Yeah, it was right? the perfect finals. All right, ready? Yes. Michael Jordan Defenders. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> nice. Whenever Joan judges him for something. Michael Jordan Defenders. Yeah, so I this... hit them way more. I, I, I have no problem with your mother judging me. I understand. Uh, this has not been started. One second. Sorry for the silence, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ready? Yes. Andrew's take on Deathly Hallows Part 2. Mm-hmm. Andrew Parker. <laughs> your take on Deathly Hallows Part 2 is worse than yourself. Okay, fair enough. And I like you quite a bit. There's nothing I like about your Deathly Hallows Part 2 take. <laughs> okay, so they're like some positives with, uh-huh. with me in general. Um, Batman Begins... Uh, the Batman is better than Batman Begins crowd. Yeah. His relationship with his father. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I didn't make this. That's going to win, no? In the spirit of you voting off not being productive. Right, because it would because like... Because that's a more serious one. Real thing, yeah. I will vote off the relationship with my father on top of the fact that I hate... The Batman is better than Batman Begins crowd. I hate them. I hate them so much. How are you on the they're pretty close crowd? I strongly disagree, but that's fine. You can't give me the better than crowd. And there are people, it's really just the staunchly better. It's the people that are like the Batman clears Batman Begins. That crowd, I hate. All right. Like the ones that commented on that video with the skull emoji being like, the Batman is clearly better. Those yeah, people. Yeah, calm down. Oh. 40 na- 49ers fans from LA. Oh, hate them. The Clone Wars movie. 
Clone Wars movie's mm-hmm. terrible. Yeah. The Clone Wars movie's terrible, but I got to go 49ers fans from LA. The Ewoks, the volume. The volume, no yeah, question. Yeah, I figured. I don't like the Ewoks, but... Star Trek Into Darkness, the new Marlins logo. The new Marlins logo is a favorite. It is terrible. Really? All right. M. Night Shyamalan... You know... Okay, I'm going to show this to everybody. You know the Marlins logo that you see me wear literally every episode. It's the F with the teal Marlin. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. This is their current logo. Ew. Nothing unique. Do you know how unique it was? We were the only baseball team that like are, are teal pinstripes. So unique. Red and blue and black. How unique is that? Not at all. I hate it. I hate it so much. It bothers the hell out of me. M. Night Shyamalan's The Last Airbender. Mm-hmm. Losing bets. Losing bets is part of the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if you're taking the risk, period, you're taking the risk, you know? So it's easily the last airbender. Sure. I lose bets all the time. Yeah, it sucks to have a losing week, but, you know, what are you going to do? People being obnoxious about Nicole Kidman ad, not being able to swear. I don't care about either of these, so I'm going to go not being able to swear. Okay. Um, Movies starting where the character is eating food? Yeah. Hate it. This is a little known, a lesser known pet peeve of mine. If you open a movie and a character's making food or eating food, I imagine it's like the wet pregnant lady. You think it's done too much? For you. I hate it. I just hate it. If you open your movie and you're eating. But why? They're making food. I'm bothered immediately. I don't know. Maybe it was just too many movies I saw as a youth where that's how the movie started. But I'm, I'm, I hate it. I hate it so much. Like automatically you're going to lose a point for that. I hate it. Timothy Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> yeah. Leia in the Obi-Wan show, Jubilee from the X-Men show. Ooh. I'm going to go Leia in Obi-Wan. Really? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. I didn't find her that bad. Oh, she's the worst. Losing at Mario Kart, losing at Smash. Mm, it's got me Smash. No. Because I win so often in Smash. I kind of welcome it in Smash. When in Mario Kart, you can be winning the whole fucking game. You get hit by two red turtle shells and now you're in sixth place. Nothing is more frustrating than that. People not thinking you're funny. Oh, yeah, that sucks. No way home haters. People not thinking I'm funny. I don't even... It's not... If you don't think I'm funny, that's fine. Like, I don't care. But if you, like, go out of your way to tell me I'm not funny because you notice that I, I don't like it, that's where I don't like it. The Obi-Wan Kenobi series in general? Yeah. Half-Blood Prince movie. Obi-Wan. The Rise of Skywalker, his testicles. You don't I like... hate my testicles, dude. Really? Yeah, they all they do is cause me pain and inconvenience. They also give you semen. Yeah, but... Yeah, I wish I could produce semen someplace else. You can't. Um, I'm... It's Rise of Skywalker. Am I ta- Rise of Skywalker. Losing to a newcomer at Smash. Okay. Vomit colored shiny Pokemon. Vomit colored shiny Pokemon. <clears throat> really? Mm-hmm. When his mug breaks, Star Wars fans his age. Star Wars fans my age. Th- that's a favorite. I don't care when my mug breaks. It's just an opportunity to give you guys the pieces. Kevin Durant, which have we done yet? Kevin Durant on the Warriors, dog allergy. <gasps> I'm going to take him home with me. I've got a really good relationship with my shipping thing at home. Okay. All right. Sorry. Kevin Durant on the Warriors, dog allergy. Oh, my dog allergy is so annoying. My dog allergy, for sure. The Raptors, realizing he was a content creator at UCLA. That's got to be a favorite. The Raptors? Yeah. You don't, You like the Raptors? What's my beef with the Raptors? I don't know, dude. Yeah, definitely realizing I was a content creator. Oh, that was oh. Terrible. That's got to be a favorite. That right? is. Across the Spider Verse, ending haters. Mm-hmm. Stranger Things. Across the Spider Verse, haters. I got no beef with Stranger Things. It's just really just a bit for you. The Tinker Bell Jar, Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks. I think the Tinker Bell Jar is hilarious. Dutch angles. Yeah. Service workers talking to him about their life. Service workers, I, like, dude, don't do it. Just get me to. From point A to point B. Don't talk to me. You're my Uber driver. 
items missing from food order when Discord doesn't load. Mm. Discord not loading. It takes so long every time. It's so annoying. Rachel's cousin throwing tantrums at Disney. Mm-hmm. Whitney's mill tank. Mm. What's that? It's Pokemon. Oh. Everybody that's ever played Pokemon will know Whitney's mill tank is the worst thing ever. But Rachel's Rachel's little cousin, it was hilarious. So I'm going to go Whitney's mill tank. People watching Phantom Menace before New Hope. <gasps> Henry Cavill's Superman. <gasps> it's it's Phantom Menace before New Hope. Really? Yes. That's crazy. Rachel not being in L.A., his inability to cook. Rachel not being in L.A. The 49ers. Oh, just in general. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I hate him so much. <laughs> okay. Man of Steel. Shit. The 49ers. Really? Yeah. Motion sickness not being barefoot. Motion sickness. I'm happy to not be barefoot. Bracket seedings in the first round. Yeah, they're awful. This has been awful. <laughs> Man of Steel against the 49ers <laughs> that is terrible. Kind of in the finals. Aquafina. Aquafina. Yep. Yoda using a lightsaber. People hating on his throwing skills. Yoda not Yoda using a lightsaber. So stupid. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Hayden Christensen. Guardians 2. I love Hayden Christensen. Just because I'm mean to him doesn't mean I don't love him. It's out of love. People telling him to calm down in yeah. public. CGI Dragon Fest. Oh! CGI Dragon Fest should be moving on, but it's got to be calmed down. The Lego Batman movie, people not understanding what the pot is about. Lego Batman. All right, back to the top. I just... You know what? If it becomes a more widely known thing that I don't like being told to calm down, fans that come up to us are going to be like, can you calm down? Please do it. Oh, I'll kill myself. Please do it. I'll be so upset. Michael Jordan Defenders, Deathly Hollows Part 2 take. Deathly Hollows Part 2 take. It so makes sense. You act like it doesn't make sense. Batman Begins versus the Batman, 49ers fans from L.A. Batman Begins. The volume, the New Marlins logo. The New Marlins logo. <laughs> the Last Airbender, not being able to swear. The Last Airbender. Mm-hmm. Timothy Chalamet, Leia, in the Obi-Wan show. Timothy Chalamet or Leia? You ready? No way. Yeah. Leia. She's not that bad. She's the worst. She's a kid. Timothy Chalamet being out in the second round is crazy. She's crazy. She's a kid. Losing at Mario Kart, people not thinking he's funny. Losing at Mario Kart. Obi-Wan Kenobi series, The Rise of Skywalker. Two bad Star Wars projects. The Rise of Skywalker, right? The Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker's worse. Rise of Skywalker. Vomit colored, shiny Pokemon. Star Wars fans his age. Star Wars fans my age. A lot of Star Wars on here. Dog allergy, realizing he was a content creator at UCLA. Realizing I was a content creator. Dude, I've never seen anything like it that day. It was crazy. Across the Spider-Verse ending haters, Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks. Really? Yeah. You hate Jar Jar that much? I didn't know that. Yeah. He's really annoying. Wow. I also don't hate Across the Spider-Verse ending haters that much. Like, I think you're wrong, but like, I'm just, I feel bad for you that you're not able to enjoy it. One of the best moments in cinema. I uh, wish it was done better. Are we still rolling? <clears throat> yep. Service workers talking to him about their life when Discord doesn't load. Service workers, no question. Whitney's Mill Tank, people watching Phantom Menace before New Hope. People watching Phantom Menace before New Hope. Rachel not being in LA, the 49ers. The 49ers. Motion sickness, Aquafina. Motion sickness. Yoda using a lightsaber, Guardians 2. Guardians 2. Good. People telling him to calm down in public, the Lego Batman movie. Calm down. Back to the top. Andrew's take on Deathly Hallows Part 2, Batman Begins versus the Batman. Batman Begins. The new Marlins logo, The Last Airbender. It's just a logo, brother. No, it bothers the hell out of me. It's just a logo. No, nope, Marlon's logo. It doesn't ruin the entire franchise. It does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. 
the last Airbender did. Leave uh, Leia in the Obi Wan show losing at Mario Kart. Leia. No. Rise of Skywalker. Star Wars fans his age. Rise of Skywalker. Huh. Realizing he was a content creator, Jar Jar Binks. Realizing I was a content creator. Service workers talking to him. Phantom Menace before New Hope. This could be the finals. Oh my gosh. Phantom Menace before New Hope or service workers that talk to me? That's terrible. One of these bothers you more consistently, I think, but... Phantom Menace before New Hope. The 49ers motion sickness? 49ers? 49ers. Guardians 2, people telling him to calm down in public. People telling me to calm down. Oh, man. Batman Begins, the Batman, new Marlins logo. <laughs> the Marlins logo. <laughs> so weird. That's Leia true. in the Obi-Wan show, Rise of Skywalker. The Obi-Wan show, Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker. You know, there was one for, do you know the show Blacklist? Yeah. If Elizabeth Keene from that show was on my bracket, she probably would have won. Whoa. She might have beat inanimate objects. Whoa. I don't think I've ever talked about that. She is potentially my least favorite character in anything ever. Whoa. Yeah. What's your beef with her? She's just awful. She's just awful in every sense of the word. Just awful, awful. That show has one of my favorite characters of all time, Raymond Reddington, and one of my least favorite characters of all time, Elizabeth Keene. And they are the two main characters. And the way she treats Raymond is just awful all the time he's the coolest person ever and he's doing everything in the show the entire show is him dedicating his entire life to protecting her and she treats him like garbage that's the whole show i hate her so much it's terrible wow um uh realizing he was a content creator at ucla people watching phantom menace before new hope phantom menace before new hope the 49ers people telling him to calm down in public The 49ers. New Marlins logo, Rise of Skywalker. No way. Rise of Skywalker. Okay. People watching Phantom Menace, 49ers. Fuck. 49ers. And in the finals, we have the 49ers versus Rise of Skywalker. That's a good finals. It's It's obviously the 49ers, though. This is not the hardest match the 49ers have had on this bracket. Right. I'd say Calm Down was harder, and I'd say Phantom Menace, New Hope was harder. And it started with 49ers, Man of Steel. You you hate Man of Steel. Man of Steel... I hate more than Rise, Rise of Skywalker. Skywalker. That's what I'm saying. Like, the, like man, the, in the first round, it easily could have been the finals. Finn, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I love you so much. Thank you for continually doing these brackets for you. But this is terrible. Okay, so uh, we're going to end off with the question of the week. Mm. Um, I don't have one chosen. Mm. And I don't have responses chosen. Oh, so we're going to read what we have. I saw that a lot of people were saying that it's easily Elsa, which I don't disagree. The, this is just a comment we just got. These guys are hysterically unserious. Every take they have is some the stupidest stuff I've ever heard, and I'd love to hear them talk to someone who has genuine artistic intelligence. But I'm the loser who tunes in every week, so keep up the good work. Oh, well, that's a very nice thing to say. Kind of. I love you. So the question from last week was... Um, All the Disney princesses. And in, it included some queens like Elsa, mm-hmm. um, who's not technically a Disney princess, who would win in like a Mortal Kombat situation. Um, so this person said, Rapunzel with a frying pan beats all. Mm-hmm. Cooking. She, she does cooking, literally. Um, this person said, Elsa is definitely winning. Yeah. Uh, I guarantee she would have an annoying ice spam projectile that would be broken. Plus her play style would be so close to Sub-Zero who solos the the MK universe. Mm-hmm. That's a good, yeah. Because some people were like comparing it like straight to like Mortal Kombat, like mechanics and characters mm-hmm. and stuff. It was really interesting. Um, so that was both, both of those were from YouTube. Let's go to the Discord. I created a whole different channel in the Discord um, for the weekly question excellent so y'all go in there and uh check it out so uh 
Elko, who as a patron said, I thought Elsa was already in Mortal Kombat, and he put a sub-zero picture. Anyways, I think she curve stomps the other princesses. Yes. The only challenge is Mulan. Um, but is she? Like, Mulan is scrappy, and I like Mulan's mentality more than everybody else, but like... What the fuck is she going to do to the Ice Queen? Yeah, it's tough. Elsa's the only one here with, like, actual powers. Yeah. So this person said Mulan. Gotta be Mulan or Brave. Elsa, Mulan. This person said Elsa since she got that dumpy. If we're talking dumpy? Really? There are a couple others that have... Be careful. Bigger and betters. Be oh, careful here. some of them children? Snow White's, like, 14. Shit. Jasmine is technically, like, 15, 16. Shit. Yeah, not, not delving into... say Jasmine. Yeah, not delving into those waters again. Elsa would be the obvious answer, but can't Snow White control slash talk to animals? So could she not just get the most powerful and use them to her advantage? Also, if anything happens to Belle, Beast is going to be a problem. Yeah, but he's not included in this. Mm. And Snow White can talk, to, but like, can she control them in the sense that she can make them fight? I don't know about that. But let's let's give her that power. I still think it's Elsa. I don't know what any of them are supposed to do in a 1v1 against Elsa. Yeah, but Brave might be able to, like, pick her off from afar with an arrow. She has ice. Yeah, but, like, if she's attacking someone over here, an arrow. It's 1v1s, though. Oh, it is. So she can't be occupied. Yeah, it's it's not a Hunger Games. It's Mortal Kombat, you're right. Ice shield. Ice. The blizzard that she made on the mountain made Arendelle in the summer have an eternal winter. Yeah, no, she's super powerful. Uh, where's Tinkerbell at? Oh, wait, she's still in the jar of semen, isn't she? Unreal. All right. All right. Tiana. Raiden slash Liu Kang, who is a Mortal Kombat character, will choose her to be the champion of Earth realm due to her goal-oriented mindset and willpower. Mm. So that's a Mortal Kombat lore so, for you. Yeah. Do you know I like anything that. about Mortal Kombat lore? I've seen the movie. Ooh, you're fucking... <laughs> Which I know is a good representation. <laughs> I don't know any of the lore. Cassidy sent me a very long thing on Instagram. I can't pull it up, but she in the Discord said, Mulan is a legit warrior with a dragon. She is definitely killing the princesses. Elsa is not a princess. She's a queen, and her and Anna are not official Disney princesses, so neither of them should be in this conversation. They're in the picture that we had, so we're keeping them in the conversation, yeah. but you are correct. Um, let's see. Anybody else? Mulan and Merida will put up a really good fight, but Elsa will still demolish. Snow White, if she got the animals, if not Elsa. <laughs> someone put a gif from, like, I think My Hero Academia, and it's just someone getting absolutely destroyed by ice. Um, uh, Merida is number one. All the fighting, she wins 100%. You don't think... Then what is she doing to Elsa? She's shooting her with an arrow. Okay, so take Elsa out. Are you going Brave or Mulan? <laughs> Brave. Merida's got range on her. <coughs> but if she gets up close, Mulan's got the sword skills. 100%. And I tr- I like Mulan in hand-to-hand combat 10 times out of 10 over Merida. But Merida has range. Yeah. It's like Hawkeye versus Daredevil. Okay, so for next week, the question is going to be, what or who is the hottest Star Wars alien. Examples, Ewoks, Jabba the Hutt, Watto. There are no humanoid aliens allowed, i.e. Ahsoka or Twi'leks. You mm-hmm. have to pick a full alien-looking mother and ever. Can and- I pick, like, an Admiral Ackbar? Can I get a Mon Calamari? Or yeah. they're too humanoid? No, that's not humanoid. Okay. No, yeah, that, that, that counts. But we want to know who you would pick and why. Give us some reasoning. Yes. Who is the hottest Star Wars alien and why? Comment on YouTube, the Discord. Uh, we can put it on Instagram, whatever, and we will answer next week. Be a little slower. Can you give me a, a sip? Yep, real yep, quick? yep. Oh, I was already going for it. Don't you worry. <laughs>